This Olympic gold medalist is helping to bring the gift of hockey to remote communities in Canada's north. Please welcome back the beautiful, the talented Natalie Spooner. <laughs> welcome, Natalie. Thank you for having me again. Okay, yeah. so let's talk about this incredible trip. Mm -hmm. So it, how did you, this is your first time ever, vi ever visiting none of it. So mm -hmm. what was it all about, this Project North? Yeah, so... Um, with the help of Project North, Scotiabank, First Air, Canadian Tire Jumpstart, and Rumi, we were able to bring 150 bags of hockey equipment mm -hmm. um, for the 150th Can uh, anniversary of Canada, and Rumi tablets um, to remote communities all across none of it, and just kind of spread mm -hmm. just the love that we have for hockey in Canada, and um, also some educational material that they don't really have access to internet as well as we do up there, so yeah. I think will really help. How cold was it? Because this was taken, like we said, just last week, right? Yeah, it was uh, pretty cold. We, when we went to Resolute Bay, I think it was like negative 37. Wow. So it was definitely winter up there. So important for everybody to get outside and be active. So what was it like fostering and nurturing hockey up there and, and getting that sense of community? What was the response like when you showed up? It was really awesome. The people there were amazing. Um, we went to one school and actually it was a teacher that spoke up and said there's these two girls here that love hockey. And um, I got pictures with them and you could just tell they they definitely had the passion for hockey and um, so they might not have the resources and the same kind of coaching that we do um, in Toronto but it was just great to see that passion and that they you know they want to play hockey and be able to pursue it so it was definitely a little bit inspiring to know that you know they might not have the same resources but they still have the same passion that we do to see what we take for granted sometimes here what has mm -hmm. hockey meant for you in your life yeah, I mean, hockey really brought me so much growing up. It taught me a lot of things, teamwork, leadership, working hard. Um, so really, I just think everyone should have the opportunity to play and um, to know that those kids might not be able to get the hockey equipment or get the coaching, but now they at least have the equipment that they can get out on the ice and um, skate around and enjoy themselves. It's it's definitely something special. It's so cool that you were there to bring that to them. And of course, we saw your tweets from Project North <laughs> to We the North. How do you feel about tonight going into the second round of the playoffs against LeBron mm -hmm. tonight? Do you think that they have a chance this time around? I mean, I hope so. I mean, we're, we're cheering loud, obviously. We got pretty cool pictures up there, and we were definitely way more north, way, way than, north. <laughs> than we the north or we really the north um, but we'll be cheering tonight and hopefully they can pull out a win and what about uh, hockey wise are you choosing only two canadian teams left in it you know sens versus oilers how do you choose are you choosing one over the other uh i don't know if i'm really choosing but I, i'm really cheering for the oilers i guess yeah i think it'd be awesome if mcdavid won and um their game last night was a bit of a heartbreaker but i think they have a great team and are able to go all the way. Exciting time in our city, and you are such a light and a role model for so many. Thank you so much for being here this morning to share the story. For more information at Project North CDN, and follow Natalie at Nat Spooner 5. Right now, we're throwing things over to Kev. Thanks, Natalie. Thanks.